Now the next economic model we're going to discuss is a simple uh, Keynesian model named after uh, Maynard Keynes who first developed these type of models during the 1930s, during the Great Depression. One of the characteristics of these uh, Keynesian models is the idea that a national income, aggregate national income, is really determined by demand. It's demand for goods and services that determines national income. Okay, and let's uh, consider the simplest possible Keynesian model. Y, national income, equals C plus I plus G, where C is uh, consumption expenditures, I is investment expenditures, expenditures on plant and equipment, and G is a government expenditure. So this right-hand side, you could think of this right-hand side as being planned expenditures. In equilibrium, planned expenditures will be equal to income. You could also think of this right-hand side, C plus I plus G, as being aggregate demand for goods and services in an economy. Okay. So this is our equilibrium condition. The other equation in the simple model is a consumption function. C equals A plus BY. Okay. Consumption in this model is a linear function of national income. Okay. We assume that A is positive. And we assume that B, the marginal propensity to consume, is between 0 and 1. Okay. And last class, what was another name that we used for parameter A? You remember? Autonomous consumption. And autonomous consumption is what in words? Right. It would be the level of consumption that occurs when income is zero. If you just plug in a zero for Y, notice this term would drop out and that would give you your consumption level. So A is autonomous consumption. Even if your income was zero, you could still consume out of your savings. Okay. All right. Now, in this, this is a very simple model. Two equations. In this case, what are the endogenous variables? The variables whose values are to be explained by the model. Y and C. Y and C. What are the parameters in this model? A and B. In Chang, parameters are usually denoted by lowercase letters. Now, what else does this model have that the supply and demand model did not have? Right. This model also has two exogenous variables. And in Chang, the exogenous variables are easy to spot 
they always have a zero subscript. So he's telling you what the exogenous variables are. In this model, uh, the exogenous variables are I and G. And exogenous variables are simply variables whose values are determined outside the model. So exogenous variables are very much like parameters. Okay, oh, really, there's no important mathematical distinction between them. Okay, okay. 